Welcome to Explore Embedded. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at bitwise operators. Uh, well, while writing normal C code, you come across uh, the uh, logical operators which are which operate on bytes or you know other data types like the AND, or the OR, or the XOR operators. But in this tutorial, we're looking specifically at bitwise operators. These operators work on individual bits. A bit, as you know, could be one or zero. So in this tutorial, we'll look at the logical bitwise operators and the shift operators, which works on individual bits. And then we'll use this to set or, set or clear the bits in individual registers. Now, if you remember from our first video while discussing the architecture, uh, the, the data memory that you have on an AVR microcontroller, it is organized as a group of 8 bits or it is byte addressable. So what it means is each of the location is a byte. And what we have is we have 32 general purpose resistors followed by 64 uh, the, these are 64 special function resistors and then this is followed by RAM and in the specific uh, microcontroller that we are speaking about the RAM size is 2 kilobytes and then this is the unused data memory now since all of this are byte addressable it is often required to set or clear individual bits in a microcontroller. These 64 special function resistors, these could be anything. These could be uh, the port resistors that we have on microcontroller. Basic, ports are basically a group of pins that are used uh, to interface external devices and each port has eight pins. So we'll see that uh, when we do the actual interfaces. So these are some of the resistors that we have on, on a microcontroller. Now let us say we have this particular resistor called the port A. Now port A is an 8-bit resistor. So this is the resistor and it can store 8 bits or 1 byte of information. Now, what is often required while programming embedded systems that you need to make individual bits 1 or 0. Now, let us say uh, we have this data already stored in the register. Now, what is often required is to change individual bit in a resistor say for instance we just need to change the value of this particular bit here so we just want this bit to be made one and so basically uh, so this is the task so we need to set or clear individual bit without affecting any other bits in that resistor now you would ask as to why do we need it now for example let us say this is our microcontroller and this port has 8 bits and these 8 bit correspond to 8 individual pins on the microcontroller okay so let us say that this bit is port 0, 0.0 and this bit is port 0, 0.1 now what we have done here is say we have connected a switch to this particular pin and then there is also a light emitting diode or a small LED connected to the other pin. So what is often required is to check the status of this one bit and then 
you know if that bit is one you send a logical one which turns on the led or if the switch is closed if the input is zero then the led should be turned off so what we are looking here at is all the ports all the ports on a microcontroller these are mapped as resistors so this is sometimes called as memory mapped io or memory mapped input so what that means is all the input outputs correspond to some memory location and in this case let's say we have port a and we need to only turn on or only set or clear uh, individual bit on a microcontroller or on a resistor now let us say these are the um, bit positions 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 now how would we do uh, this in C how would we change only this particular bit in C now say I have uh, so uh, say I have defined a variable which is again 8 bit and uh, say this is my variable and say its value is so for a binary notation in C we write it as 0b and say it is all zeros followed by a 1 only the least significant bit here is 1 now in order to turn on only this particular bit what I do is I shift this one to whatever position we need this bit to be turned on and in this particular case it happens to be position 2 and now we have bitwise shift operators in C we should have seen this symbol this stands for right shift and this stands for the left shift now how this works is say we have uh, this particular byte here and if we left shift it by two times what you would get is this particular one being shifted to the second position so it will shift once here and shift one more time and you would get this value so after this operation my variable will have a value of 0b this is four zeros this one would shift here and then it would be followed by two zeros now what what we can do with this is if we now use one more operator which is called the r operator so this is symbol for the bitwise r operator now if we r this my variable with the port a which we have here we will get exactly what we need so let us just check that so uh, if we are this value with this value we will get exactly what we need and our operator by the way what it is is it operates on individual bits so say we have two bits so say we have two bits a and b and we do a our operation on them and what we get is say the two bits are 0 and 0 uh, the output would be 0 the R the R gate or the R operation what it is is it gives output as 1 when one of the two inputs is high so in this case for all the three cases since I at least one input is high the output would be high so this is our R operation and when we are this with the register data let's see what happens now so what we have here is only this bit is 1 followed by 0 0 now if we individually or all the bits in this what we get is this is 0 this is 1 this is 1 and this is one this is zero this one or zero is one zero zero is zero and this is one so now what we have done here is we have turned on only this particular bit without affecting all the other bits now instead of writing all these instructions in c what we do is 
we combine most of them so instead of uh, taking an additional variable we could you know always eliminate that so how we do that is we will take now this was the binary notation for the number so we can write that in hexadecimal or decimal as well so let's say we write it in hexadecimal so for the notation for hexadecimal number would be 0x and then we take this one as 0x 0 1 now what we do here is we shift this one first by the number of times or uh, for the number of bits that we want or the num or the bit number that needs to be turned on in this case it happens to be 0 1 and 2 the second bit so what we do with this one is we shift it we shift it by two times now so once we shift it what we get is this particular value now after having shifted we are this with port a so that is what we do here so this is the port a so what we do is we are this value with port a and then we could save this result in port A itself. Now we could use one more C operator which is called the concatenation operator. What it does is you should have used this before like say I want to uh, you know uh, add increment A by 1 so the way we do is A is equal to A plus 1 or simply what you could write is A plus equals 1 so what it does is this is equivalent to this so in this case since port a is common on both sides we could write it only once so the way we could write this is port a or equals so what that means is port a equals to port a odd with something and that something in this case would be 0x01 followed by the bit position that we want to turn on. Now, if you go ahead and look at the, some of the resistors that we have on, on the AVR microcontrollers, let us go ahead and do that. So these are all the resistors that we have, all the 64 resistors that we have on an AVR microcontroller. Now what you could see here is, uh, say for instance, port A. Now, what you could see here is this this particular port A, uh, the number that you see on this side, the number that you see on this side is the uh, actual uh, resistor number. I mean, there are 64 resistors, and one A in hexadecimal is the uh, address of this resistor, and this number that you see is this is the relative address in the RAM uh, so this would since we have 32 uh, general purpose resistors and that is followed by these these all these are special function resistors so if we add 32 uh, to 1a you will get 3a in hexadecimal which is you know the RAM address of this particular uh, resistor we'll see this in a little while and what you could observe is this is the resistor name this is the name of the resistor now followed by that is these are the individual bits in the resistors so since this is an 8 bit resistor we have 8 bits on this now with the instruction or with the uh, code that we have just written we could turn on any of these 8 bits now the significance of this is uh, there are various other resistors and these resistors have names and even the resistors bits have names and these bit names have special functions in whole lot of internal operations that the microcontroller does say for instance timer timer has various resistors like the ones you see here tcnt tccr so what what is often needed is set individual bits like this set or clear individual bits like this in a microcontroller and in the C code that you would see you will find these 
uh, instructions and it is very handy to write the bit name instead of the bit number so coming back to our discussion so what you could see here is so, okay so what you could see here is instead of the position 2 here we could also write the bit name instead of the bit position and we'll explore this in in a little while similarly we may have to clear an individual bit in the register now let me now let us go ahead and look at clearing a bit what you do now is you would clear this particular bit here so bit on position 1 now again all the remaining bits on this resistor should remain the same only this particular bit should change in order to do that what we do is we take again all uh, zeros followed by one here and what we do is we shift again here as we did in the last time as we did in the last uh, you know, while setting the bit and what we do is we would instead of now if you go ahead and or this uh, with it it would not make any difference you would just set this bit what we want is we want to clear this bit now say if we go ahead and invert this particular uh, pattern that we have here so let's say let's say we invert this so let's make all the bits one and this particular bit a zero now if we go ahead and instead of oring if we do the logical and operation between this and this what we would get is what we need now if we and this with this it would be zero zero and it with one is zero for the and operation if one of the inputs is zero the output would be zero now for this it would clear this bit as required and the rest of the uh, data would remain as it is because it is ended with one so this would be zero one zero one zero and one so this if you were to write uh, C instruction as before we would write it as something like this so this is port A we would, would like to end it and this would be equal to port A ended with port A and then what we do is first first what we do is we shift it by bit position so we take a hexadecimal 1 and we shift it in bit times so in this case it would be 1 and then we invert this so here is the shift operation and then we invert this and then we add the result with the uh, register that we need so this is how we set and clear bits in individual register now we'll go ahead and uh, and and simulate this in AVR studio and see how it works in the previous video you've seen how to set the AVR studio now uh, I've set it up as in the last video and we are here so let us do the operations that we need to do now uh, so let's say we have this port resistor port A and we want to set a particular bit so before we do that uh, we need to uh, define the value that we just discussed for the port A so let's say port A equals 0x or if you write it in binary it would be 1010 and then the way we do it the way we set the uh, second bit is so this is port a or equals to port a odd with 1 
or this if I write it in hexadecimal one shifted by two positions and then to clear that bit we would write code A and we would be clearing the if you see look back so we have cleared the uh, bit in the first position so we have 0x01 and this is shifted by 1 and since we are clearing the operation would not be this it would be and equal to and the negation or inversion of this and by the way this is the bitwise not operated so bitwise invert operated now let us go ahead and build this code and before you do that uh, the simulator to select the simulator select on tools and then select the uh, programmer debugger as simulator we'll go back to the uh, this thing and then compile the code now once the code is compiled and the debugger runs what you see on the right hand side is the resistors since we ha we are operating on port a this is the port a resistor for us now it would be better if we look at the assembly code because whatever code we write it goes into assembly and then uh, it generates a hex file so uh, let us go ahead and look at the assembly now what you could see here is this is the instruction followed by the assembly instructions now uh, so this is load uh, data instruction which loads uh, hexadecimal AA or this particular pattern so it has converted it to hexadecimal and this it is storing in a temporary resistor or a general purpose resistor which is R24. Now what we do next is we so these two instructions they uh, they uh, for initially what it does is it, it copies the AA in hexadecimal to R24 and then it outputs to 1B. Now if you could, uh, now from a previous discussion you remember that 1B here it refers to port A. So this is the address of port A. Now, so what it does is it sends this pattern to port A and then uh, you shift this one two times and then or it with port a to set bit number two and this clears bit number one so let us just go ahead and simulate this now if you go to debug and click on step into it goes to the next instruction now what you could see here is the value is not updated unless these instructions are executed so let me press F11 again so now it goes ahead and executes this particular instructions or these two instructions in assembly and what we have on port A is 10, 10, 10 and 10. Now the next instruction so if you see in assembly it stands for set bit and this is the location of the uh, or the address of the port and it gives the bit number exactly as we want wanted so if we sorry if you press f11 again it goes to the next position and still the instruction is not executed hence it's not updated so after this instruction what you should have is this particular bit bit 2 should be turned on yes and we have it here now this instruction has been executed now what we do next is we clear the bit 1 so this is bit 1 and we would clear it so if you execute that uh, execute the next instruction so it's still not executed if i click f11 once more time it would clear so what you see is this bit is cleared and then the process continues so this is how you set and clear individual bits in C. With this, what we have found out is uh, we have also got insights into how and the controller comp how the compiler compiles the code, produces an assembly, and how it sets and clears individual bits. See you in the next video.